Did Brett Wilkin drop the ball at the 2022 Arnold's Classics? Did he not do what he needed to do to win the show? A lot of you people, you guys know who you are. You've been messaging me, telling me, Brett Wilkin dropped the ball. He dropped the ball. Let me tell you something. The Chicago Pro 2021 and the Arnold Classic 2022 lineups? You're talking a completely different world, guys. You had Max Charles that was right behind Wilkin at the Chicago Pro in third. Wilkin got second against Hunter Labrada. Max Charles is probably going to place second to last at the Arnold Classic. It is a thick, hungry lineup. No, he did not drop the ball. There is an X factor here. There is a buzz in the air. Everybody brought it. Everybody is in shape. Brett Wilkin was tossed in a pile of lions. But anyway, let's go through these shots to see if he did make some improvements, if he uh, was better at the Chicago Pro, maybe condition-wise, and that doesn't necessarily mean he's not improving. And I began with the front lat spread because the pitcher of the front double, the only one that I could find, socked of Brett Wilkin. It was pan back, it was blurry, distorts the size, everything. Now the front lat spread, he does look like he's little bit better condition wise at the Chicago lighting is better looks like he has better uh, tan oil things of that nature his legs it's hard to tell but I think they look bigger at the Arnold's classics you might see more cuts for the Chicago but take a real close look so if he did in fact nail his condition which he did at the Chicago it's going to be hard for him to to live up to that name once again. But he is growing, I think, in the wheels. If you take a close look. Have a look at the side chest here. One thing I do notice. Keep in mind, guys. I believe his condition to be slightly sharper at the Chicago. So the muscle fiber, the muscle growth, going to be less noticeable. But I wager to say his delts are twice as big. And if he was... Slightly sharper in the condition. You'd be able to see that, no doubt. Now, when I look at the wheels, the lags, overall, he is improving. Keep in mind, guys, I think the lighting is a lot better at the Chicago. But I see some glutes wrapping around at the Arnold's Classics. A little more, more noticeable. Hamstring, quad might be larger as well. Go to the next shot here. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. You couldn't really see it too much in the uh, side chest development or the side chest shot rather but here in the side tricep look at the size of the delt the guy has a massive delt unbelievable and to have big massive delts for a guy like brett wilkin he's not the tallest bus in the theme park or in the the gay garage but i mean when you're his size you got that big wide set of delts you can dwarf the taller guys in that aspect and yeah, overall, I think he is getting bigger. But he just, like I said, he was... Boom! He nailed it at the Chicago. Go to the back shot. This is a telling tale. This is where your condition is going to show up the most. And yeah, his glutes, his hamstrings, they're a little bit more separated. A little drier, perhaps. One thing I, I said, though, in the front shots... The wheels look bigger. Look, his legs are twice as big. So he does mean business. He's still growing. Still growing. And you, you can see the condition, though, at the Chicago. From the traps to the, the lower lumbar area. Awesome, awesome. Go to the rear double. Now, you see what's going on here. Do you not see what's going on here? He's hitting the shot. Totally different. He's leaning back like a Phil Heath at the Arnold's Classics, standing up nice and straight. Somebody talked him out of doing it that way. I like the way he's hitting it at the Chicago. Doesn't show the delts off as much, and I think he was eager to show the delt difference, and my soul. Look at the, the shoulder muscles on him at the Arnold's Classics. But what it does, it creates wrinkles in the lower back, and I honestly just prefer the way he is standing up straighter. Patrick Moore did the same thing. 
at the Olympia. He stood up nice and straight, and then after that, it seems like he he tried to lean back too far. On to the abs and thigh. And this is not fair. He's hitting it. It's different. You know what I'm saying? He kind of, in, in the facially, facial region at the Arnold's Classics, and I mean no disrespect to anybody by this, but he looks like Marcus Ruhl. Look at that. I'm not, not physique-wise, just facially, but not at the Chicago. Looks like a different man. Looks like a different man altogether. His hair is a lot lighter, too. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, see? <laughs> Go to the most muscular and finish this one off. Like I've been saying through the entire comparison, and I honestly think it reigns true. His condition was slightly sharper. His skin was just that much thinner at the Chicago. Or the lighting was just that much better than he had. He had some better oil. He had a better tan. All those things you have to take into account. But one thing I would wager to say is also true. He's got bigger wheels. Pan back, guys. Take a look. He is growing. Look at the arm difference. The guy's much bigger. Much bigger. So no, he did not drop the ball. He's growing just fine. He just ran into a different type of lineup, guys. I mean, everybody is in shape. Everybody. And furthermore... You guys were the one that put him on the pedestal. You guys were the one that said he was going to to win the Arnold Classic. See, you place people up on a pedestal, they end up crucifying him. Not unlike your biblical Jesus. And that makes sense. Because Brett Wilkin, I think he has a, a tattoo of a, a Jesus fish. I'm pretty sure. Did he drop the ball, like you guys are saying? No, he did not. He just ran into a different animal altogether the Arnold's classics and the chicago pro you can't compare those lineups guys hit thumbs up on the video brett wilkin he is growing just fine look at the arms and subscribe to the channel if you have not already look forward to all of the updates on the rest of the Arnold's classics have a great day